Hello everybody, today we are going through my top five favorite red lipsticks of all time. I posted a video about my favorite red lipsticks around six months ago, so I figured it was time for an update. I'm gonna walk you through my favorite colors and favorite formulas, so let's get into it. Coming in at number five is the lipstick I'm wearing right now, and it is the Amani Lip Power in the shade 403. The Amani Lip Powers aren't celebrated too much here on YouTube, but they are one of my favorite lipstick formulas of all time. I especially love the shape of the applicator. It just makes it very easy to apply. The formula of these lipsticks is very hydrating and it is extremely long lasting, surprisingly so. I have these lip powers in about five colors, but 403 is a very classic shade of red. This is a very sophisticated, neutral, forgiving shade of red that I think would flatter a wide variety of skin tones. It is extremely comfortable to wear. I love reaching for this, especially when I'm out at dinner because of the pointed tip. It just makes it extremely easy to reapply. And like I said, it is very long lasting. It stays put while providing that little bit of shine that's just very elegant. If you are after a red lipstick that is particularly easy to apply and you don't have to worry about creating those edges too precisely, this lipstick would be my top recommendation purely because of the shape of the applicator. And shade 403 is truly fantastic. Coming in number four is this shade by Sisley. It is in the Le Fito Rouge lipstick in the color 41 Rouge Miami. This lipstick is very appropriately named because whenever I wear it, it makes me think of something very fun, cheeky, a lot of warmth. It just adds that, just that bit of summer to your face, just in such a fiery, stylish way. Despite this being a matte lipstick, it is insanely comfortable. So if you want a lipstick that has more warmth, but doesn't offer shine, but is still hydrating, this lipstick will be my top recommendation. It is so wonderful. I think this lipstick can be worn any time of the year. I've even worn it during the winter months. It is beautiful for daytime wear. And it is one of those reds that's still red without committing to one of those typical classic reds, which might feel overwhelming for some people, especially if you're just getting into red lipstick. This has enough orange in there where it is a little muted and stripped down, but it still brings that pop to your face and just oh. for some people it's a double espresso and for me it's red lipstick this is oh, just wonderful really gorgeous color offered by Sisley so that is the Lafito Rouge lipstick by Sisley in number 41 Rouge Miami now if you're familiar with my channel at all you know that no lipstick video would be complete without including a Dries Van Ocean lipstick so coming in hot in third place, we have the Drius Van Noten lipstick in the color 99 Favorite Red. It was a huge toss up between Favorite Red and Uniform Red. I also adore that shade. The difference is that Uniform Red is more of that classic red, very similar to the Amani Lip Power in 403. Favorite Red is much more of your evening sexy blood red, very rich opulent, sophisticated, just very extravagant and luxurious. The formula is exquisite. It is so pigmented, yet just feels so comfortable, lightweight, hydrating, but it doesn't offer that shine. So in terms of the shine level, I would say it sits between the Amani Lip Power and the Sisley. This is one of those reds that I truly reserve for special occasions or when I'm going out for a nice event. I love putting this on. Just makes me feel that extra special, extra glamorous, stunning, stunning red. So in third place is the Drius Van Noten Satin Lipstick in 99 Favorite Red. Coming in second place is this Satin Lipstick by Hermes and it is in the color 66 Rouge Permont. Now let me tell you something, this has been a recent purchase of mine and it is already my most complimented red lipstick of all time. And I'm not exactly sure what it is about this lipstick, but it just seems to tick all of the boxes. The packaging is exquisite, the color is perfection, 
And in terms of how it feels, it feels similar to the Amani Lip Power, but even thinner and lighter, yet somehow more pigmented as well. I feel like the color would be really flattering on a variety of skin tones. It is a nice classic red, but it just has that little bit of kick to it where it just adds that brightness as well just really sings on your face and it feels very very special to wear incredibly luxurious i am completely enamored by the color it is perfection one thing Hermes does incredibly well is nail their colors they're incredibly unique and i think that is something special that luxury brands offer is that their colors are so nuanced where it's really just they hit the nail on the head and i do find that that is something unique to higher end or more luxury brands especially for lipsticks i am convinced that no matter your undertone this lipstick will be incredibly flattering i think it's good for daytime or nighttime going to an office meeting going out with friends walking around the supermarket doesn't matter what you're doing this lipstick is just perfection. So in second place, we have the Rouge Hermes Satin Lipstick in 66 Rouge Permont. And in first place is this Satin Lipstick by Byredo in the color Red and Blue. Now, I had been eyeing this lipstick for, I want to say around two years before I finally pulled the trigger on it. I was just never really sure about the color and I think it's because Byredo does a terrible job of their online photography, particularly for their makeup line. But once I put this on for the first time, I was kicking myself for not getting it sooner. It is such a sublime red. This color is electrifying. The perfect cool toned red and cool toned reds are typically more flattering on every single kind of skin tone. It is classic, wearable, I have worn this shade to work quite recently, been talking all throughout the day, and I didn't need to reapply this. It is very long wearing, incredibly forgiving, so, so comfortable. The packaging on this lipstick feels even more luxurious than the packaging for the Hermes lipstick, and that's saying something because both forms of packaging are just lovely. If Favorite Red by Drias Van Oten seemed a little too dark for you, but you still wanted that more classic evening red, Red and Blue is absolutely sensational. Just a truly delightful red. Cannot say enough good things about it. It really was a close call between this and the Hermes for the first position. Really depends on what you're in the mood for. I feel like the Hermes is incredibly wearable, especially during the daytime. It just, oh, just lights up your face. The Byredo Red and Blue is maybe leaning more towards the evening, but I've worn it during the day as well and absolutely love it. Such an amazing, incredible cool toned red, just absolutely exquisite. I am in love with this lipstick. Between this and the one by Hermes, I am smitten and my red lipstick love tank is completely full. I'm really enjoying wearing these right now. This has been my go-to makeup look lately. Just having my hair up like this, just not too much going on with the face and then a bright red lip and I feel good to go. That's why I felt so excited to make this video because red lipsticks, I don't know what it is, but lately that's just what I'm turning to. My makeup, as I'm sure yours does, just goes through phases. And right now I am loving this red lip phase I'm in. And I find it's easy, quick. I don't have to put much thought into it and I still find I look really polished and put together. And out of all of the lipsticks I showed you today, they are all very long wearing comfortable, offer very nice packaging. They're just the whole package. I feel like out of all of these lipsticks I've talked about, there is something for everyone. And I have tried many red lipsticks in my time, let me tell you. So I'm here to share the best of the best. So I really hope this was helpful and I would love to know what your favorite red lipsticks are. Do you have any in common with me? Are there other formulas you love? What colors speak to you? would love to chat with you about it. If you have any questions about any of these, just let me know. Otherwise, I hope you're having a beautiful day or evening wherever you are. Take good care and I will chat with you soon. Bye.